welcome back to another episode of MTD CNC North America. Today, I have a treat for you guys. Stay tuned to this story. What a testimonial. I am at RW Screw with my buddy Bill, and we Wait, have a story to share. So Bill, nice. thank you for being a part of MTD CNC. Yeah, thank you, Tony, appreciate it. Glad to have you here at RW. Oh. Getting to see the beautiful Eclipse machine. This, the whole facility is absolutely incredible, but yeah, we have a real story to share and an absolute privilege to share this story on this Eclipse from Hydromat. The parts that are in front of us, you're making, I don't even know, millions of parts. Millions but, of parts. But I'll let you do that storytelling. So sure. this machine, let's talk a little bit about that, what it's helped you accomplish, how you were previously doing projects. I know the, the audience is excited to learn about this. Sure, sure. So um, traditionally for RW, um, we have a lot of different types of equipment in our facility, um, anything from primaries all the way to secondaries. And traditionally on the parts that we're making here, we would make them off a multi-spindle they would be blanks at that point, and then there would be about seven, eight, nine, ten different operations following that, taking weeks to complete a given part um, on there. So it's a lot of operations, a lot of labor, uh, a lot of tooling that goes into that. Um, fast forward to our Eclipse, we're able to do very similar type of stuff, drop it complete in 22 seconds, 23 seconds on there. So I go from I have an eight week lead time on something down to I can put a part every 22 seconds in a box. You know, Bill, if you were a sales guy, I wouldn't even believe you right now. The story sounds too phenomenal to be true, right? It felt like it was too phenomenal to be true when you first start a project like this because, you know, you're so used to your traditional machining methods, how you've always done things for many years. You see something like this and maybe the first thing you think is how are you going to do it? You know, Hydromat was very supportive, they helped us through the project of it and here it is, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, and in essence, this Eclipse from Hydromat has 12 stations, so it's like having 12 CNC machines because you mentioned this would have been done on five, six, seven, eight machines with labor across the board. And something we emphasize a lot here at MTD is reducing handling, meaning let's not move apart from one machine to the next machine. I mean, that's, that's setups, that's possibility for tolerances to be out. I mean, yes. there's so many yes. mistakes that can be made you're doing it all in one here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's funny you say that because one of the things that often goes unseen in a project like this is, is the overall handling and quality. So you gotta think about the parts. Every time I'm going to a different operation, I'm moving those parts around my building. My scrap rate actually reduced going into a machine like this because I wasn't getting as many nicks and dings on the parts, constantly handling them in and out of the machines. It's it's all done in one machine now. So you, you do get that. Um, and you're right, as far as the delays, just that, there's 11 or 12 different CNC lays that are inside this machine doing three or four axis work. That's really impressive. It is impressive. Let's talk a little bit about the machine in the sense of its flexibility, right? Because sure. I know you're utilizing the Heimbuch products as well, which is yes. easy, quick change. And when you and I have talked before about how long it used to take to switch from job to job, now you're able yeah. to do it in minutes instead of hours or days, right? Correct. I, I could, um, previously, if I were changing, it's a family of parts that we run on this machine. And on my multiple spindle machines, it could take me day, two days to change over between jobs. If I had to do collet changes, it could take me a day just to change the collets, let alone everything else on here. On this machine, I can go part to part that are similar in size of, like like a hex size, in 30 minutes. Wow. 30 minutes. And I, I'm, I'm, I stopped one part and I started the next part and I'm running parts getting palletized right here. I can go from a hex to a round in three hours. Wow. And that, again, the Heimbuch product allows me to be able to do that because it's a quick change collet. I just go in, turn the collet out, put the new collet in, I do it 12 times, and within that three hours between the collet changes and then setting the machine up, I'm, I'm running a whole different part altogether. What's really great, I think, about that story is that also you don't have to worry about the tolerance of it, right? It's repeatability of that Heimbo product pulling in and pulling out. It's quick, yes. Flexible, Correct. yes. But also extremely precise. Correct. It's extremely precise. You know, you, the fact that a lot of the, you know, 
a lot of times when you're doing collet changes and stuff, there's more to it than just the collet itself. In this case, with the Heimbook, you just have that main collet that you're pulling in and out. And yeah, it's a precision ground product. It's, it's phenomenal. We use it in a lot of different places beyond just even this machine, but it just adds that much more valuableness to this machine. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. And we talked a little bit about this part that you're making here, and I believe you mentioned 22 seconds. Now, yes. the Heimbook products that you're using have an additional 25% rigidity to anything else that's out there right now, right? So yes. the fact that that extra rigidity has allowed you to take this part down to 22 seconds is going to increase your tool life. It's going to make your finish better. It's going to, yep. the chatter is going to start to disappear. Correct. All of those things that go along with it, right? Yes. 22 seconds. Correct, exactly. And, and we're overturning on a hex. So, you know, for everyone that understands, when you start overturning on a hex, that chatter wants to follow through on the rest of that part, and it, it'll vibrate on your machine. With the Heimbook Collet, I don't have the issue, and with this machine, the, the actual Eclipse machine, I don't have that vibration because I don't have that bar stock. I'm sawing that bar off immediately at the very beginning. Right, so for those of you who don't know exactly what Bill's talking about, it's that tail whip of that Correct. large bar at the end. Exactly. Because usually, a part gets cut off at the end of a process of instead process. of the beginning of the process. On a multi-spindle, that's the last thing you do. On a hydromat, it's the first thing you do is you cut that you cut that bar. Now you have a slug inside that machine. So that bar whip, any kind of hex that's vibrating inside the, the actual bar loader is, is, is gone because you're not spinning that full 12 foot, 14 foot bar. Yeah. So this machine, it looks massive. Yes. Its capabilities seem nearly unlimited because I know you can turn and mill yes. depending on what station you're at, right? Correct, yeah. And I'm looking at a bunch of crates here with easily hundreds of parts right yes. here. I see them behind me as well. They're over there. When you utilize this hydrobat machine, do you only use it for when you make a million parts or do you also use it for 500 parts or 1,000 parts? How, how flexible is it? This machine is a pretty flexible machine. You, this is a family of parts. I have some of these that are only five or 6,000 pieces a year wow. on there. So I'm able to go from a high volume that might be 600,000 a year down to something that's 4,000, 5,000 because it's quick program changes because the amount of tools I can put in the machine, the amount of flexibility it, allow, it offers me, it's literally program changes. J just to kind of give you an idea, the operator, all the parts are already programmed in the operator changes the collets out, changes a few preset tools out, and they go to the control and select the part number, and that's it. They're wow. done. That's the setup of this machine. See, you know, the reason I asked that question, and that's, again, if you were a sales guy, I wouldn't believe you. But the reason <laughs> I asked that question is because I believe there's probably a large misconception out there that when we see a machine of this size, it's only for large batch runs. But it doesn't seem yeah. to be that way. I mean, it's not one-offs, but Correct. it's not you're a million pieces either. Correct. Yeah, you, you're not going to do a one-off on it. But yeah, you're right. It, it can be for any variety of pieces of equipment. And again, what's great for us is the family of parts. So I can allow that flexibility to run lower volume, but still have the speed to run high volume amounts of work off the machine. Wow. What a truly inspiring, multifaceted testimonial yeah. here at RW. Screw Bill. Thank you. I truly appreciate you sharing this with myself, with MTD, allowing MTD to share it with the world. Bill, you're amazing. Oh, you're a privilege you to guys. talk to, and I wish you and RW Screw the greatest of successes. Thank you so much, Tony. I appreciate it. Thanks, everyone. You are a real pleasure, brother. Ooh.